Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Look at that. You have now entered the mukbang zone. Hey guys, it's your girl Peggy Sloppy Joes here. Welcome back to my channel. Yay! Right, so as you can see, I made us some unorganized Josephs. <laughs> this is my first time making it, so I'm really excited. Yeah, so I use this Manwich Original Sloppy Joe sauce. I'm gonna show you guys how I make it. So I start off with two pounds of hamburger. I break it up. Yeah, so I cook my hamburger until it's fully cooked. I drain off all of the excess grease. Next, I add in some chopped white onions into it and I mix it in with my hamburger. Next, I add in my Manwich Original Sloppy Joe sauce into it. And then I mix it all together. And that's done. All right, so I got my buns here. Let's put on the hamburger. Ooh. It's just too much. <laughs> it's a good thing I only cooked two pounds of meat. I wanted to cook three. This is already a lot. I'm gonna top some on the hash browns too. Sloppy Joe's hash brown. They are the sloppiest of Joe's. Unorganized Joseph's. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Right now I'm gonna melt some American cheese onto my unorganized Joseph's. <laughs> Put on the top. So how are you doing? Good, I hope. Thank you so much for joining me. Ooh, thirsty. Let's have a drink. Bubbly. Alright, are you guys ready to get sloppy? My husband said this is meant to be sloppy, so don't try to be neat about it. <laughs> okay, well, let's start this one. I have a feeling the moment I bite into it, the whole thing will just fall apart. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, look at that. Okay, I need a bowl. Alright, here we go. Mmm. It tastes really ketchup-y. Mmm. Mm, mm. Wow. The bun at the bottom has totally disintegrated. Mm, mm. Wow. God.
Wow, this is delicious. This is very messy, but it's really good. <coughs> wow, that was sensational. I like it. I like sloppy joes. Man witch. I'm surprised they didn't come out with like a woman witch, you know, considering how woke society is today. You know, everything has to be like a woman. But woman witch doesn't sound that good. Girl witch. Right, let's go for some hash browns. Let me just use my fork. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, this is good. This works. That's brown gel. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Foot in my hair. Okay, let's finish off the second one. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, this is the messiest video ever. Wow. All right. Um. Mm. Mm. Wow. Wow, that was good. I like it. <laughs> it's super messy, but it's so delicious.
This is definitely a very good first impression food. You know, that you got a job interview, like a lunch interview, or a first date, eat Sloppy Joe's. You bring out the best in you, you know. You eat all sloppy, like, ah, ah, ah. Let them see your true colors, you know. And then if they freak out, then you know they're not the one. But if after eating the Sloppy Joe's and be all messy, they still stick around, you know that's the one. Right? You want someone who can stand you even when you're all gross and disgusting, right? Mmm. <laughs> mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. I think eating sloppy joes is a good way to weed out people that are not for you. If he sees you eating like this and all gross and well, oh no, I'm not going to see you again. Well, good riddance, right? You you want someone you can eat sloppy joes with and be all gross and disgusting with, right? Ooh. You know, this hash browns with sloppy joes is good. I think next time I'm going to put it on some fries. I think that would be good. Mm. Alright, I'm done. That was sloppy indeed. <laughs> it's very sloppy, very messy, but it's very delicious. I like the taste. It kind of tastes very ketchupy. Yeah, I, I think the better way to eat sloppy joes is to put it in like a burrito wrap, right? You know, just wrap in a burrito or a pita. You know, the pita bread, there's like a hole in the middle, just put it inside so it's like nicely uh, packaged so it doesn't spill all over. But I guess eating sloppy joes is meant to be sloppy, so. Well, yeah, so do let me know what other uh, recipes you guys would like me to cook and eat for you. Do let me know down in the comments. <laughs> and a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters as well. Thank you so much for supporting me. You guys are the best. And to everyone here as well. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Yeah, so if you're new here, do subscribe to my channel so you see more of my videos and do check out my other eating shows. I've done quite a bit of cooking recently. Like I did this rigatoni cake, you know, where I baked the rigatoni pasta in a spring form pan. That was fun. I also cooked some very creamy and cheesy fettuccine alfredo with shake and baked chicken. That was really delicious. Yeah, so those videos that I mentioned will be up on the end screen. Go check them out. See you in the next one.